The Mercedes-Benz E-Class is a tour de force of innovation, loaded with cutting edge driver assistance features never before seen in this category of car. It has in fact overtaken Merck's flagship S-Class as the brand's technology leader. The Mercedes-Benz E-Class has really taken over the mantle, the technology showcase of Mercedes-Benz range and I think this car is absolutely stunning. It has the latest connectivity, contemporary design, interesting materials. The technology that debuted in that car, I think puts it a class above everybody else in that segment. Our Car of the Year judges admired this gorgeous functional interior, as well as the E-Class's sophistication and broad set of skills, including the semi-autonomous control mode, which helped push it through to the second round. The interior has a lot in common with the C-Class and the S-Class, but I actually think it's better than both. This has a totally different flavour to it, um, run by an enormous screen. The detailing is absolutely gorgeous. The materials, they're really high quality. The presentation of the interior and the instrument panel in particular is really quite impressive. Everything was intuitive to use, displays were crystal clear. There's a warmth and a joy of life that the E-Class gives you that is at odds with that kind of austere tradition of German cars like that. Safety is a massive uh, jump in terms of that E-Class and it's got some uh, quite innovative stuff in terms of uh, active safety systems. You can just cruise along, sit back, have your hand on the bottom of the wheel. It sort of reduces the fatigue on the driver and that's, that's pretty good. Mercedes points out these are driver assist systems, they're not autonomous systems and I think that's a very important distinction. I think in some ways it's a car that Mercedes-Benz has intentionally engineered to prepare people psychologically for the time when you know, proper autonomy is coming. The dynamic competence of the full-size E-Class sedan and its range of fuel-efficient engines, in particular the sweet all-aluminium diesels, were also appreciated by the judges. It's really exciting to see the first of those, especially because it delivered some exceptional fuel economy numbers for us. We've got a vast uh, range of uh, engines available in the E-Class, all the way from a brand new four-cylinder turbo diesel up to almost an AMG light, a, uh, an E43, which is arriving later on. The chassis has been tuned for driver enjoyment. Uh, it's got really responsive steering and, and a great suspension setup. So, you know, you can take corners quickly and you can kind of, you know, have a bit of fun behind the wheel while still being in a car that is pretty much the safest on the road right now. Mercedes hasn't forgotten about, you know, good old fashioned mechanical engineering. This is a car that steers well, it handles well. It's a, it's a pretty convincing dynamic package for a large luxury sedan. It's a great basis to work on for the forthcoming E43 and E63 AMGs, which are really gonna knock it out of the park. Merck's technological masterpiece has made a compelling case for itself at Car of the Year. Its comfort, refined on-road manners and polished presentation could be enough to set it apart from the rest.